Hey guys, Derek here with Bleepin' Jeep. And today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite tools for fabricating in the shop, and that's a contour gauge. It's a pretty handy little tool. It's used to take a profile of something like here. And what I want to show you today is how to upsize it and make a cheap, bigger version so you can make bigger templates to make better parts for your Jeep. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to get notifications and consider helping us on Patreon. We really appreciate it. Let's get started. So what this tool does is it has these pins inside of a, it's kind of like a ruler that pinches on them. And what you do with it is if you have an object that you want to make something that fits around it, press this down and it conforms to the profile and it gives you something you can trace to make a template and then cut it out of metal. So in this case, I wanna build a truss for this Dana 44 axle. Get a profile of the whole thing in one shot. So the first thing that I decided I needed to build this uh, in a larger size were bamboo skewers, like for shish kebabs. They don't cut very well in a chop saw. And two, you can get skewers from the dollar store, but they're not consistent in size and they're not very high quality. So I ended up getting the $2 package. The other thing you'll need is some type of glue, quarter 20 carriage bolts, some washers, some wing nets, and some felt. And the felt, I think, is gonna be a key uh, thing with this to kinda take up some of the irregularities in the wood and the skewers. And then I'm using a couple pieces of, uh, this is furring strips. And you can buy a whole eight foot furring strip at the hardware store for like 98 cents. My working area, is gonna be 16 inches, that's how much skewers I'll have um, width. And then my total length of this is 18 inches, so I have room for the bolts to clamp it together. So the first thing I need to do is lay out the felt. The felt is gonna go between these two lines and then I'm gonna drill some holes for the bolts. I'm gonna do the bolts first so that when I put the glue and the felt on, it'll be, uh, I'll be able to just clamp it all together and let it dry for a night. Some of the tools you'll need is a utility knife, a drill, a quarter inch bit, some type of sawing device, chop saw or just a hand saw will work. I'm just going to stack them on top of each other, line them up, and drill. So I got the bolts in one side, um, the carriage bolts, so they'll hold themselves in. And then I'm gonna take the felt. I just cut this with the razor blade. And then we're gonna glue this down here and here. Alright, so I got the bolts together, there's a little gap, let's let the glue dry and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. So I got the pieces separated and now I'm just going to lay the skewers out, I'm using a piece of scrap wood to kind of help me keep them all straight. I'm just going to lay them out flat. All right, so I got all the skewers clamped in there. 
Seems like it's gonna work. They slide through pretty nice. I can adjust the tension with the wing nuts on both sides. So let's try it out on the uh, axle. See if it'll give me a good profile. So you have to make little adjustments by hand as you're pushing it down. You, you might have to slide one or two up or down. Um, so it's not perfect, but that's a pretty nice profile to start with. I could transfer it to cardboard first and then uh, fine tune it and transfer it to metal. But it's pretty quick. You just get your profile. And now I can get a profile in different spots. So I can get one up here and then one back here. It's pretty close. It's a, a neat little project, I think. Um, Amazon does have uh, bigger contour gauges that you can buy, so I might get one of those um, and test it out when I actually go to build the truss. So that'll be in a future video. So guys, there you have it. It worked pretty good. Um, it was super cheap. I mean, I think I have $7 into this whole thing. Maybe $8. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for some materials that will work to make this. Um, I'm sure there's ways to improve it, but to do some quick templating, I think it works pretty good. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to get notifications and consider helping us out on Patreon. I'll see you next time.